morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, this is the Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. Hey, I just wanted to give you guys a peak view of how we celebrate the Shabbat, how we remember this, uh, the, the Sabbath day. Right now it's about 10, 13. Um, well, you guys, well, this is the seventh day, but you guys call it Saturday morning. And um, in 40 something minutes, we, uh, Pastor Dow will start the service uh, in Tennessee at 11 o'clock. And so uh, we watch it from here in my home, in my basement. So I kind of just want you guys to give you a peak view of what it looks like, you know, so it's not like some, I know people think we're a cult or strange, you know, we fellowship. We live life together, and uh, it's all about Jesus. That's that's what it's all about. So, come follow me. I'm going to show you a little bit of how we do the Shabbat. So. This is where we do the Shabbat service right here. So we got the screen, uh, you know, we, we were able to watch it online. So when the praise and worship going on, it's as if you're there, we can praise and worship, we're dancing, we're just having a good old time. come down here and and when they come down here it's very quiet um, they're gonna be praying um, before the service starts and so we wait until basically they say all rise and then from there we go into praise and worship and that can last between 30 to an hour of just you know just all out praise and worshiping the most high and then from there uh, we go to uh, Pastor Dow anybody can watch this online but uh, Pastor Dow will preach um, and basically take us through the word and give us meat. I mean, this is higher learning. This is straight going through the scripture, line by line, precept upon precept. But after that, then we end up uh, around three o'clock, I believe we end up having a Shabbat meal. And that's where we feast, we eat, and then we end up taking a Shabbat nap. So I'm gonna try to give you guys a little journey of what our day looks like, so. Continue on our segment here on the Shabbat. Just want to get. We just finished um, having a great uh, spiritual meet from our pastor, Pastor Charles Dow Jr. Um, once again, is I don't know what to say. It's just a, a lot of meat. And in honor of eating meat, we're going to eat meat for the Shabbat here. We're having pulled beef meat right here. So you can see the the, the sandwiches here. Sandwiches. Here's the bread or the buns. We got the this smoke roast right here. Uh, we got uh, barbecue sauce, we got some pickles, we got coleslaw, we got some corn. And guys, like I said, do not covet, okay? If you want to, just, you know, all you gotta do is take care of business anyway. And here's here's the chips, and then we still get our, our carrot cake. There's still enough for all of us. How many? One, two, three, four. There's an, there's extra. That's that, that's that's awesome right there. That thing was so good. I think I think I. How many did you take? Two. I took two. I think I took two or three. Two or three. After we eat this, we're gonna probably get you know sleepy, and then we're gonna take the Shabbat rest. I, I know I do. So I don't know if these guys. Some of you guys are gonna probably go read, uh, get take some time, spend time, hang out. Uh, but eventually we'll come back together. Blessings. Shalom. Shabbat. Shabbat shalom. Amen. Say Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Say Shabbat Shalom. I'm going to Shabbat Shalom. Alright, hey, 
the sab the Shabbat is over, it's ending. And so now we, we, we are coming out of the Sabbath and we have a snack. We're gonna get, um, watch some movies. This is what we do here in um, Straightway, Wisconsin. We're gonna watch movies, uh, have some drinks and fellowship and uh, just see the night off. So this is the, what we call the first day. So anyway, uh, Sister Evelyn and uh, Brother David has made us some nice treat. I'm gonna have Sister Evelyn kind of break this down to me. So what is it, what do we have here, Sister Evelyn? Here we got some barbecue meatballs. Okay, we got some, and what's this right here? And this is a veggie tray. So broccoli, some um, snap peas, tomatoes, carrots. We got some blue cheese and some ranch for dipping. Mm. And then we got some peppers. Can't remember what these are called, but they're not spicy. And then we got some pickle rolls. Right. And then we got some watermelon. Ooh. Yes, and look at the pre look at the presentation. Look, look, look at this. This is amazing. So anyway, we're gonna uh, enjoy the rest of the uh, I mean, the first day, the beginning of the first day, we get to sleep in. See, we don't go to church. We don't go to church on Sunday. You know, we don't do the sun worship. We actually keep the Sabbath day holy. And so now we're coming out of that, we're gonna enjoy it. And um, hey, blessings and shalom, shalom. Oh. Hey, uh, once again, um, blessings here. We're here right now watching the uh, Tears of the Sun uh, movie. Uh, my native land, Nigeria. But anyway, we're watching a movie. It's what? About 11.57. So this is one of the things that we do here is after the Shabbat is over, we we, we pick a movie. Somebody from somebody from the, one of the saints pick a movie and we watch it. So anyway, just wanted to let you guys know this is kind of what a typical Shabbat looks like. All right, blessings. Shalom. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, this is first day. Uh, we're having our uh, our weekly brunch. So let me just show you. I mean, we kind of already ate here, but I'm just concluding. You can see we had some eggs. I don't know what they call these eggs. It's not scrambled. You have si yeah, sunny side up. And then, you know, this is turkey sausage, right? Turkey sausage? Chicken. Chicken. And we had toast, orange juice, and just the saint. So. Anyway, we have a, uh, this is what we do. And so most of the time, some, some people may leave on, um, right after the Shabbat, uh, go back to their home, or some may even uh, stay, well, a lot of them stay first day, because we have extra beds here uh, in the guest house. And so people are allowed to stay the next day and, and, and get a nice brunch. So that's kind of how we do it here. Just wanted to show you guys just a little, um, um, documentary of what the Shabbat is. Uh, one of the things I want to close with is that I remember when I was doing my CFP exam, the certified financial planner, you know, I am a financial uh, advisor, and um, it was so hard. It was two years ago, very hard. I think I started in 2015, and now we're in 2018, and it was so hard when I was going through the process and trying to take care of my wife and my children and my dad and take care of all the responsibilities I had and, and read all of these boring books. I mean, I mean, it's good stuff, but 90% of stuff you don't even use, you know? I mean, it's just pushing through and having grit to, to get through the process. I remember I prayed for two things. There was two things that I prayed for. I prayed that Yah would, uh, um, would, uh, would help me to pass the test. And then two, that he would help me to redeem the time that I lost with my family. And I can honestly say, after all that I've gone through, uh, it's been over a year now since my natural family, my uh, you know Eileen and the children has left me. Um, but I can honestly say that he answered both of those prayers. I did end up passing the test, so I am a certified financial planner. And then two, he did redeem the time. He redeemed the time that I lost with my family. But what I didn't know, what, and he did it through the Shabbat. He did it through the Sabbath. And um, like I said, I've started this, I start taping. We do, like a lot of the saints come in on, on sixth day, right before the Shabbat, uh, before we enter the Shabbat. We, you saw the dinner that we had. We call it the prep day dinner. And then we went into the Shabbat, which is a whole 24 hour. And then you saw a little bit of us, um, you know, you saw how we did, um, you know, uh, praise and worship on, on the Shabbat. You see how we had a Shabbat meal at the end there. We had a Shabbat uh, feast uh, after we've been fed by our pastor, Pastor Dow, uh, Dow Jr. 
And then um, from there, we, um, to some of us, a lot, I know I did, took the Shabbat. We call it the Shabbat rest because we eat so well that we get sleeping because of the convenience of having uh, many rooms with beds. We go and take a nap. And then a lot of us uh, end up getting up reading or whatever. And then we wait until uh, the Shabbat ends. And then we uh, in here at the straightway, uh, Wisconsin, we watch movies, you know, and people, you know, rotate and we pick a movie. We've been watching a lot. The theme has been about, you know, slavery and and, um, you know, just it's kind of been in that theme, you know. Um, but and then from there, um, we you know, we I think last night we were up to three o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, what we what we was able to get uh, a two hitter. We was able to get two uh, close to two hour movies, and uh, because we sleep all day, that we end up having a little injury. I think two of the Saints had to uh, had to go to work, so they weren't there for that. But uh, people are allowed to hang out and watch a movie, play chess, play games, whatever it is that uh, we want to do after the Shabbat. And then um, then um, the first day come and you can see it here. We we have a brunch and then this is the time that you know, this is the saddest time. This is when people kind of go their separate ways. And and we, you know, we said, well, I'll see you next week. <laughs> see you next Shabbat. So everybody go their separate ways and um, and we do it all over again. So anyway, um, he did answer my prayer. Um, I did pass the test. He did redeem the time with my family, but I didn't know it was going to be his children, his people. Yah's people. And so um, I am uh, redeeming the time that I lost. And when we hang out and, and do the Shabbat, we spend at least, I mean, at least minimum 20 hours, 20 hours a week. When I was in Christianity, the most that you would spend with people in the church, maybe four hours. If, if you were like one of those guys that showed up to, to Sunday worship, to Wednesday service, and, and maybe did some volunteer, maybe four hours a week. But here we are not easily, easily hitting 16 to 20 hours a week. And that's just, that's me. I didn't even, I mean, obviously people staying there for first day, you're getting in more hours. So we spend a lot of time. So what, what it takes to church to build that, that, that closeness, that, that, uh, that, that, um, cohesiveness, the, the love for one another, love for Yah, the love for one another, it would take the church maybe two or three years. We, I mean, to catch up to us, it would take them two or three years to catch up to how we do it here, according to the Bible. This is a, this is, this is a commandment feast as unto the Lord. And we're doing it and doing it his way is, it does set us apart and it's special. It's, it's, it's all revolves around Jesus Christ. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a peek uh, of how we do things, and and this is how I lost my my uh, uh, my wife, uh, my ex-wife. This is how I lost my children because I had a desire to love the Most High. The greatest commandment is to love Yah with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. And the second is like it to love your neighbor as yourself. And doing the feast, you 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 obviously doing it for the love of Yah, and you get to be with other saints you get to be with other brothers and sister and so you get to have a love for one another so it's just a beautiful thing that yah has set up for his people and so i just want to let you know this is what it was worth it it was you know i didn't want to lose my uh, my wife uh didn't want to lose my children this is something that i wish that they could have participated with me um but with the powers to be they weren't allowed to um uh, my wife did not want to allow my children to participate in keeping the Lord's Shabbat. It's his, it's his Sabbath, not mine. I didn't pick the seventh day. He did. He did that all the way in the beginning. Thousands of, four, at least close to 6,000 years ago, he picked it in the beginning, not me. It was created, Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And so just, just obeying him. And so anyway, I hope this uh, gives you guys uh, inspiration, inspire you to, uh, Keep the commandments of Yah. If you truly are a believer in Jesus Christ and you truly have the Ruach, Hashkadesh, or the, the Holy Spirit, if you truly have that in you, you should have a desire to want to do things like this. This is not grievous. It's not like we get depressed that, oh man, we got to do the Sabbath again. Oh no, I look forward to the Sabbath. I mean, you just saw, we eat. That's all we do, we eat. I have I have put on weight, so I got I to gotta manage that better now because you're going to eat. And you're going to have a, a, an amazing time revolving your life around Yeshua HaMashiach. So anyway, I hope this was uh, educational. I hope this uh, stimulated thought. Hey, if you have any questions um, or any comments, please comment down below. And uh, if you like it, 
give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, give me a thumbs up. Usually I consider a thumbs down as a sack. I used to get quarterback sacks. So when I get a thumb down, I must have hit something. So anyway, uh, blessings and shalom, shalom. You ain't got to have a damn revelation of everything. Have every I dotted and every T cross in order to know how in the world to serve Christ. Sometimes you just got to get